Hey girls, welcome back to the channel. We have a new puppy. She is girl Shih Tzu. Her name is Dream. She is red and white. We plan on getting a boy, um, hopefully in the next couple of months, once a boy becomes available. Um, so today I just want to share with you guys the first 48 hours of having dream things that I bought things that you may want to buy if you are um, in the market of purchasing a new puppy for the first time now I haven't bought a dog in like 14 years so I couldn't really remember what to get at the puppy stage but I definitely knew the essentials that I needed to have so let's go ahead and jump right into the first 48 hours with dream uh, for those of you guys who are unaware well not unaware y'all don't even know um so most of you guys probably remember cash cash was my maltese i had him for 14 years and we recently had to put him down um gosh i don't even know where to begin he has been pretty much the baby of the house for a very long time. A couple of months after Ariana was born, we started to notice some changes with him. Uh, for an example, we would take him out for his normal walk and he wouldn't necessarily know where he was going. Like he would um, accidentally run into just stuff that he normally would not run into like flowers, bushes, trees like he would just run into things and at first I thought it was just you know him just being super excited and just you know not really paying attention but when we started noticing that he wasn't able to find his food anymore which was always in the same place we started connecting the dots and assuming that he was going blind anyways to make a long story short um, he also started just really acting out just just acting totally different he was very anti um, he just really wasn't sociable like he used to be and we honestly thought it was just you know effect of Ari being here Ari getting a lot more attention than him of course so we really didn't think that it was some other things going on. Another red flag that he was starting to use the bathroom in the house. We took him to the doctor. They diagnosed him that he was pretty much going blind. Um, and he had like kidney stones and some other stuff going on. Anyways, like around Christmas time is when things pretty much advanced where you couldn't even touch him. Like if you touched him, he would either snap at you or he would literally cry like I said I wasn't gonna do this <laughs> I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry um but honestly we were being selfish and didn't want to think of putting him down or proceeding with surgeries which the doctor recommended but with cash being a senior we really just didn't think it would do any good for him it's hard to say but so anyways um christmas time came and it just got worse like we tried to and we tried to get him to engage with us and participate with like being around the christmas tree and opening gifts and you know just getting those family moments and family pictures and he just couldn't do it he would just lay there like it was almost like he wasn't even here and it's oh god i hate that he was suffering like that and i was too stuck on not letting him go if that makes sense but now looking back on it I definitely believe he was suffering not wanting to deal with you know having an older dog that is you know gradually passing away right in front of me I just couldn't come to grips with that but um so anyways January came and oh god like it just got so bad like he was using the bathroom on his cell. He wouldn't allow us to bathe him because it literally was painful for him. Um, Travis would literally just have to force it and just take the bites that would come with, 
keeping him clean because I mean for those of you who have been with me for a long time know that Cash is like a Devo he was a Devo like if it's raining outside he's not going if it's cold outside he's not going he was one of those dogs so the simple fact that he wouldn't allow Travis to clean him was another big red flag um, but anyways we made the decision to put him down and it was one of the hardest things i have ever done in my entire life it was a so unreal moment just so unreal so when they came and got him um like he just he just laid there like seriously he just laid there um let me turn this brightness down so yeah he just he just laid there so that's that we were already looking for another dog um just to be a companion with cash and to also kind of show him or her the ropes of what to do what not to do but he just didn't make it he just didn't make it so um here we are we all right so before we jump into the first 48 hours i just want to share with you guys real briefly what i picked up for a dream so i saw this cute <laughs> little car seat on Wayfair and y'all it is so cute look at this it's like a bassinet like really um and so what you do is you put the seat belt over the bassinet and that secures the dog in this is what I used to bring her home in it was very comfortable for her she seemed very comfortable and it does come down so that you can make sure you know your little one does not get out and of course it comes with the handles where you can tote this little cute thing um the handles go down to it's so big wow and like for the first couple of nights we also let dream sleep in this as well so this is really really cute um i think it was like 80 bucks so worth it of course i knew i needed a bed for her to sleep in now because she is a puppy i have not let her slept in her little cute bed just yet because i know she is um pottying in the house right now so i don't want her to pee and poop all on this so as of right now um instead of using this little cute bed that i got from tj maxx super duper soft um it is machine washable which is always a plus especially when you have a new puppy or a dog in the house period um but with that being said because she is a puppy i did pick up some potty train pads you need the training pads because the training pads is going to be the way the dog uses the bathroom whether he or she pees or poops they need to be using this and it also protects your floors and this little cute basket i picked up from tj maxx like look how cute that is Hey, mama. And it's really sturdy too. Like, how much did I pay for this? $24.99 for this, y'all. And it's really good, heavy quality basket. I think it's gonna last for a very long time. I wanted to definitely have a basket for Dream because as you guys know, we do have a toddler and I want her toys to be separate from the dog toys because lord have mercy god jesus i can't even imagine her walking around with the dog toys in her mouth like these are just a couple of items that i also picked up for her that i felt like she would definitely need during her puppy stage now of course we do have dog food and of course we do have a dog bowl for food and water but i don't feel like it's a point of showing that you guys will see that in the video but so yeah okay um so of course i have her these cute little toys that she can play with a little too big for her right now but she definitely can grow into them and then I also picked up these little doggy wipes just to do like a quick clean out. Basically what I plan on doing with these wipes is just wiping off her paws once we're able to go outside and she have all of her shots as well as when she uses the bathroom. So I want to make sure she has clean paws while she is running around the house. And then here is another cute little dog toy for her. Just something that she can play with. And then I did pick up these little doggy bags. Oh, I can't stand when people walk their dogs and they don't clean up behind their dog. And then that person walks outside and they step all in dog shit. Like, 
is that it let's get hey mama all right so now that i have shared with you guys everything that i have picked up for dream first day being here with us let's go ahead and jump right into the 48 hours with a new puppy The dog. Come on. Come on. Let's go look at the dog. Dreamy dream. Dream. 